All right, everyone, so here we go. Um, we're gonna make this famous Dalgona coffee and see if it actually works. I mean, I'm sure it works, everyone's doing it, but I just wanna do it on my own and see. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I love coffee flavor. I just don't like what it does to me. So I'm gonna show you guys what we need to make this Dalgona coffee. And I've been, like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos. So first you obviously need some instant coffee. It doesn't really matter what type of instant coffee you use. Uh, milk, obviously, but this is soy milk. We're gonna use soy milk instead of regular milk just because it's healthier. And I love soy milk. And then of course, sugar, granulated sugar. Um, ice cubes for the iced coffee. Um, we have a little bit of hot water here. Um, and also a mason jar that I actually kept in the freezer for a couple minutes just so it's super nice and cold. And then obviously you need a mixing bowl, a whisk, <clears throat> um, spoon. And then also I have a microplane here, like a grater. For anyone who doesn't know what a microplane is. And some chocolate. I don't know, I'm just gonna shave a little bit of chocolate on top. This is from Anthony's mom, so. I'm gonna go try this out. Okay, so first we're gonna do equal parts of coffee and sugar and the water. Um, so equal parts meaning the same amount. So I'm not gonna use a, a measuring cup here. I think I trust myself when I say equal parts. So that, and of course sugar. One. That's that. And then we're gonna pour in the equal amount of water. So I already pre-measured this one. Okay. okay that's good. And then on the videos that I watch, um, basically you just basically whisk it. Uh, you can also use it like an electric mixer, but I'm just gonna whisk it. I love I love whisking. I don't know why. So I don't know how long this is gonna take, but it says it's about 10 minutes it really depends on like how good of a whisker you are, I guess. Yeah, just So it's becoming a little frothy now. Really, I think it's really important to have like a really good mixing bowl because if you're using a mixing bowl that's quite shallow, then it's really hard to whisk anything. And like basically, even if you're trying to whisk like a whipping cream, it's gonna be very hard. So it's it's really important to use like a deep set of bowls for mixing, <clears throat> and it basically prevents like spillage and you know overall mess. So it's becoming really nice and frothy now, but that's not what we're looking for. We're gonna keep whisking. Looking for you don't want it to be super 
if it is warm. I mean, it's going on a drink. If it's going on a cake or something, then sure. You can definitely do a little bit of stiffer, but it's a drink. So anyways, here's our glass or mason jar. I use a mason jar. That's nice. And then we're gonna pour the soy milk. Well, we're gonna put ice as well, too. Okay, so let's put some ice. Actually, if I'm gonna drink coffee, I think I I usually drink ice coffee. Like those um, cold brews I really like with a nice cream on top. I think it's really nice. Okay. So give your soy milk or whatever you're using a little bit of shake. Okay. So you don't want to like fill this all the way up there. Just basically maybe like three quarters. Okay, so that's that. Okay. So that's that. Let me see. Cold. And then basically, the I guess the true test to this whole thing is if this whipped thingy majig is gonna float on top because that's what you want. You want it to float on top. Just filling this glass of soy milk with this beautiful, beautiful, rich coffee. I don't even know what it's called. Ooh. Can you guys see it? Hold on. Okay. It's like, yeah, it's definitely floating for sure. I think Anthony, Anthony's gonna help me taste this one because I can't get too much coffee. <laughs> but I'll be like super nervous and probably. Okay. And then we're gonna shave a little bit of this chocolate or chocolate. Well, actually, you know what? I have this like sea salt, chocolate sea salt. I think that will go better than strawberry. So, just a little bit of microplane. And this is a dark chocolate with sea salt, so I'm just gonna shave it on top. Okay, so here you go guys. We made our we made our own Dalgona coffee. <laughs> Doesn't look great, but whatever. I mean I'm sure it tastes great. Okay guys, so we finished making this Dalgona coffee. There you go. Um, looks really good. It floated on top of the milk, which is really good. So we're gonna try this. Again, the coffee, I mean the chocolate, shaved chocolate on top is like a really added touch. Anyway, so we're gonna mix this up a little bit. It's really nice and creamy. I think that's how you're supposed to drink it. I mean, how else? Right, Anthony? Yeah. You're gonna have to mix it right. I don't know. Again, I'm not a coffee drinker, so. All right, it looks really nice and good. Uh, you can also like, um, I think the soy milk that we got is a vanilla flavor, so which actually, I think will be better. But you can also do like unsweetened ones or almond milk, oat milk, whatever milk you want. Okay, okay. So. I mean, it's really, oh, it's really strong. <laughs> Again, not a coffee drink. But it's really like rich. Like, it's not sweet in any way. Which is good. Hmm. That like shaved chocolate on top is really nice. It gives it a little bit of texture. Here, you wanna try some here? And then he's gonna go try it. Say hi to them. 
pot and milk. No. A lot of milk. A lot of milk. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so he's probably going to finish this because he can't drink too much. I think you got to mix it really good. And because the topping is so, there's so much air to it, it kind of makes the whole drink like really nice and almost like a smoothie-ish. Like it's thick. So nice refreshing drink, I mean, coffee drink. Um, I don't know, I've been really wanting to try this. And there you go, I did. So I'm gonna finish this drink. Well, Anthony and I are gonna finish this drink. And I guess this is what he's gonna be drinking for the next couple of days. A little bit of everything here. Bye.